So hopefully, I can do this without dying. Now, the exterior is just about done. Like, I'm missing a few things. Like, in the walls and stuff, I'm probably missing some iron bars, uh, especially on the new area. And I also want to do some terraforming here as well, uh, where I add a little bit more custom terrain, like a rocky formation going up the wall here.
because I might not have horses yet. But now, I'm prepared for when I get horses. dock going through here and up to that side I think that could be a good idea so yeah I'm gonna try to make a dock now
Alright, we're back to the world. I think, yeah, because I'm in spectator mode, I think it messes up so it doesn't load up all the chunks. So I'm just gonna switch over to, yeah, creative. Then I can see more stuff. And let's tour here quickly. Oh man, my stuff. They have despawned now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of this world. Thank you guys so much for watching that montage. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Because that took me a really, really long time to do, actually. Let me just hop on in here, sleep away the night. I could have just, like, used the command too, but... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, now I can tour what's been going on. So this is the spawn chunk. I spawned in this chunk right here. And this was my starter house. So I made that. Then I made a yeah, board for goals that I have then I made later on it's a pretty reason I made this iron farm so it produces iron then I have used this for a strip mine uh, which is uh, really nice I really like it and also I know I could have prevented that that if I had splash fish healing of potion that I could just spam onto the ground or after I killed that vindicator just like fly straight away instead of sitting there blocking with my shield and getting attacked from behind and <laughs> all over by those vexes. But yeah, you live and you learn, I guess. That was the first time I did a raid too, so I never done it before. So I didn't have any previous experience uh, of doing that. And yeah, I made some sheep farm, cow farm. <laughs> they really like to go into here, it seems. And yeah, this is my castle area. What was he trying to attack there? But yeah, uh, see. So much stuff. He doesn't know what to do with himself, so he just goes to attack around and attacks his teammates. <laughs> but yeah, here I have these houses. The plan was to get this secure. It was secure now, but I wanted to do a raid before I set them free. So one of the other plans that I had was to set these guys free and after this raid. And then starting to breed them up to uh, like big family and live inside of the walls here. And this was going to be really cool. How I did this, I was actually putting two blocks with signs there and carpets above. Uh, which prevents mobs of uh, seeing this as a walkable path, I guess. And inside here, I had my storage. And uh, yeah, here was the extension of the castle, so it was going to be the second layer. I was going to cover this up and add some type of bills in the middle here. That was the plan anyways. Then inside here, I wanted to have a map room of the land pretty far here. At least cover this entire island. So yeah, I would say maybe one, two, three, four blocks tall and like really wide. So that was going to be a map room and stuff there. Then here down I had my farm area. I actually did a live stream making, replacing these stone bricks. And yeah, the grass here. Uh, yeah, I did that on a short like Twitch stream because <laughs> I didn't think it was worth recording because it was just basically me placing down a stone brick uh, to have a color here because uh, yeah, I didn't have a proper design, but I was setting that to hold so I could make a proper design here later on. Then it extended to this hallway. And then the plan that I had here, because this is like basically seven of these uh, in between here, you know. So I had here so I could have walls between. So it's like a hallway basically now, but it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out to here. Then I was going to go one, two, three. Then make an opening here and go like a lot further down here to a humongous underground room. And in between here I wanted to have farm also. So I wanted to like move the sheep in here and have them automatically be shared. Like of each different colors maybe on uh, each side. And then like a chest that I could see and some glass where I could see the sheep. And uh, yeah just collect all the wolves that would run around the clock as long as I was in game. And then here I wanted to have a big opening and uh, I wanted to um, make a glass around here like in a big like 
uh, circle square-ish thing and drain it all out. I had one vision of making a huge tree going like up to maybe this site right here. And then from the land there, having the land, let's see if I go there. Yeah, from here, having a bridge going inside of that tree and in the side of that tree to remove or remove the nether portal from there inside of that tree. And uh, yeah, also have a way to enter this place right here. So that was one of the goals that I had there. And this is the dock and the farming area. I really like this, uh, but it wasn't done. I wanted to have some more places sticking out like that for ships. So maybe one more here or something. And yeah, maybe one more there and have like two ships maybe. And maybe some rafts and smaller boats. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to build. And then, yeah, later on I wanted to make this iron farm into a tower. Like a humongous tower here. So yeah, that was an idea I had. And then I also wanted to fill this up here with like other builds too, you know. Like a well maybe. Like a, yeah, like a well that I could swim down as a secret way to the underground base. Because the underground was going to be huge too. Yeah, but these are things that I didn't accomplish though. And yeah, of course, getting rid of this, probably keep this for, yeah, the nostalgia, I guess, to the starter house, you know. <laughs> no reason to get rid of that, but I, I think this was a kind of odd uh, place to have it, like, because it's blocking the road here. But once I got rid of this, I could have made the road continue here. And I wanted to keep it in this pattern. And I also wanted to later on, once I was like, okay, this is done now. Then go and punch out like like this, you know, and make some cracks in the walls and stuff. Let's see, I'm just gonna redo that. But yeah, that was an idea I had. And then maybe I have some stairs here on the ground too, and waterlog them. Exchange some with cracks, stone brick, and mossy variants and stuff like that. Give it a little bit more life, I guess, and make it look a little bit more rundown, but it usually gives uh, adds a nice detail. And then up here was my, uh, it was like an AFK mob loot farm. So the mobs here, let's see, they would fall. Let's see, what if I did it? Yeah, it's probably a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah, they would fall into here, basically from up here where they had a spawning platform. And they would fall down here to the magma here. And the people with armor uh, would fall into to the magma block so they would uh, still die and also the witches and stuff so yeah this gave me a little bit of loot but i only afk here like two times and it was just for like 20 30 minutes each time so i so i didn't afk here for long i would probably have afk here like overnight eventually i make a bigger st uh, system like down make this chest go down by yeah like have an eye double chest or something of storage but uh loot there but yeah that didn't happen <laughs> And finally, let's see, switch back to greater. I was working on draining this uh, ocean monument. So what I actually wanted to do here, I wanted to, yeah, find these spots right here and make it go down. Then I wanted to make like these uh, squares here, going all across here, uh, like this zigzag <laughs> all over. And then I wanted to go inside of the monument and drain it and then yeah I wanted to go inside of the monument first and drain that and then make sand just under here and drain under it. Then I was only left with uh, these squares to drain afterwards. So eventually the guardians would fill up in many of these but I had a trident you know so I could like kill them first and then go fast down and drain it all you know. So that was the plan for that, to drain like under the monument, inside of the monument, and then take these uh, squares finally. But yeah, this was a huge project though. I think I spent just placing sand here. Uh, it was a little, maybe a little bit over three hours, I think. But just collecting the sand too, that took a long time. And draining it would have taken a long time too. But after I've done that, I wanted to make a huge like circle here. 
you could say I uh, was a little bit inspired maybe by Filsa <laughs> from his season 2 project. So I wanted to do something similar, make a huge circle going around here and making and uh, yeah, then make a landscape outside of the monument, keep the monument, but then uh, add more to the monument, make it look more majestic, like uh, like an upgrade kit challenge, you could say. So this was like a Minecraft project that I wanted to upgrade and make look epic, you know. Uh, yeah, try to make it look more epic than it already is. And then inside of it, I wanted to have the Guardian Farm, like inside of the monument. I thought that would be really cool, like have them spawn like up here, maybe. Just get rid of all of this and just make it look more epic, <laughs> I guess. And then, yeah, have them spawn there, fall down, and uh, yeah, then I could collect the loot and it would be a really cool building project also. Because I wanted to do this mostly because of uh, having to do a uh, like uh, epic build project. So, but that is something I could probably do the next season. And this is mostly it of what I built. Like, I waited with making another hub, so I haven't made that yet. And uh, yeah, I thought I had mo a lot of time on me. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna die here. That's why I didn't put potions, uh, bring like splash potions with me either because I didn't think this was gonna be a big. Uh, challenge. I thought this was gonna be pretty easy if I'm being honest, but <laughs> yeah, I was uh, wrong about that. But this, that's this world tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next season of Horrorcore. And also since I called this like season 6 when I started, because I, it was just like Horrorcore was just gonna be like a an experiment, I guess. But I really enjoyed the steak uh, for Hardcore. So that's why I'm renaming uh, all the videos that I have of this series to Season 1. And uh, yeah, the next season is going to be Season 2 of Hardcore. So yeah, this was my first time playing Hardcore. So it's uh, it's been awesome. I really, really have enjoyed playing on this world. And yeah, I hope that I can do so much more the next season because I actually had a goal that I wanted, like I felt like I needed to survive for at least one year and do so much with the world, but maybe I can do that for the next season, so hopefully I will see you then. So that's it for now, bye!